I'm uh, thankful for us getting to be closer to our family this year. It's something that we haven't had for a long time and it's very nice for us to get to be with our parents and get to plan uh, evenings and meals with our uh, other relatives. It's great for Jess to get to know all of his little extended cousins and aunts and uncles better. Well, like Mary, I'm also thankful that we'll have a chance to visit with our family and friends who we haven't seen in a while. Um, but I'm also particularly thankful this year for this professional opportunity to serve here at Fresno State and to get to know so many people on campus and in the community and especially grateful for the warm welcome that they've provided to us. Well, I remember big Thanksgiving celebrations going over to my grandmother's house and having all of my dad's brothers and sisters there with their families and getting to be with my cousins and the great smells of the food and everybody in the kitchen and the tradition of serving in different shifts and just getting to be a part of that. that that's what we did when we were little and then as we have uh, had our own family and we were away we always traveled on Thanksgiving and had to come back home and and split up our time between different houses so it was more like a marathon <laughs> celebration for Thanksgiving so this year we're hoping to have it a little bit <laughs> more relaxed and settled to where we can enjoy the time with each other more than uh, having to be rushed between places. Yeah, and Thanksgiving as a kid, I, I remember it being one of my favorite holidays because it was one of those few times of the year when the extended family would come to my grandparents' house. So I'd get to see my aunts and uncles and my cousins. And it was uh, even more than Christmas, I would, I would see lots of relatives and uh, and my grandmother used to tell me that I was the turkey at the first Thanksgiving in 1966 because they brought me home on Thanksgiving Day and she used to every Thanksgiving remind me of the fact that I was the turkey on the table for that one year and so it, it, it brings back lots of positive memories and yeah, being back home for this Thanksgiving and not having to travel uh, is gonna make it, you know, that much more special. Sometimes my parents would, we'd celebrate Thanksgiving the day before so that we could have the next day to spend with Joe's family. Or they were always real flexible because they knew that we were coming from such a distance wherever we came from. But uh, just the, the fact that we came home was the tradition. And um, just getting to spend quality time with our family, that was the big, uh, biggest point that our children really enjoyed. Well, I think that here at Fresno State, we can be thankful for lots of things. Um, one is that, um, that we live in a, in a, in a relatively safe uh, environment and one uh, where we're supported. And uh, it's, it's something that is very important to me to, to make sure that our working environment is one where people can grow and, and, uh, and feel supported. Uh, from a professional and a personal uh, standpoint. And so that's something that uh, during my presidency I plan to emphasize as much as possible. Those things that help to build community uh, I think are very important and will help us to be even more successful. I think that what we have to be thankful for here at Fresno State is the great um, community that we have here. All the talented faculty, students and staff people that I get to meet every day that impress me on so many different levels and that we all get to be together and we all have a passion for Fresno State and for it to be successful and for it to be attainable to more children in the valley and I think that that's something that we can all be thankful for.